I'm your host, Melena Scantlin, and I've tracked down the experts to get your fitness questions answered, take control of your life, and get the body you've always wanted. Coming up, helpful info you don't want to miss from You Asked For It. boxes over here and the trainers Nick and Madeline don't know what's underneath the box. I'm going to have them pick a box and then they're going to show us a workout that we can implement into our training at home. Nick, I'd like for you to go first. Right. Now be choosy. There's some really <laughs> difficult things underneath these boxes. Okay. Is he going to go, go for a white for or black box? I don't know. One. A white box? Oh, oh, ha, we tricked you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming you can use your own body weight yeah, in a workout? Absolutely. Um, for a body weight movement today, I'm going to go ahead and do the burpee. Okay. Um, Those are, the, I really hate burpees. In fact, they're on my list of things to do at the gym, and I'm like, I wonder if my phantom <laughs> trainer would know if I skip them. It's a great total body workout, I mean, with your own body weight. So you go down, so you're gonna kick go down. out the legs. Yep, kick the legs back. Okay. You're pop the hips as you come up. Pop Kinda the like hips. like doing the worm on the dance floor. Right. And you're going to jump and clap above head. Okay, good thing that nobody has ever seen my worm. Madeline, <laughs> you are up next. Thank you so much, Nick. Don't forget yeah. about those burpees, guys. Madeline, pick a box. All right. I want this guy right here. Oh, the dumbbell. Now, a lot of people are not intimidated by the dumbbell, right? No, and it's not anything you should necessarily be intimida intimidated by. There's so many movements that you can do with this. Um, one of my favorites is the dumbbell snatch. Okay. So the single arm dumbbell snatch. You start with the dumbbell right in between your feet, right in between your shoelaces there. As I reach down for it, I'm going to keep my chest nice and high. My back goes flat, so I want to engage what's called a lower lumbar curve, okay. maintain the structure of my, of my lower lumbar there. And as I pull the dumbbell up, I'm going to lead with my elbow. I'm going to flip. My wrist over, dip underneath it to catch. Now make All sure right. this is a weight that you can handle, right? Yeah, okay. Always. <laughs> Don't always. be going for the 20s like Madeline. Yeah. <laughs> so from here, elbow up, flip and dip. Stand all the way up to complete your lift, and the dumbbell is going to come right back down in that same path. So, how so. many reps would you start out doing if you're a beginner? Um, you know, it, it's really dependent on f for every different person, but you know, always start with that lightweight. Concentrate on form. Make sure you've engaged and, and you keep that back flat. Those things are the most important, and you can do a, you know a multitude of them, depending on what else is incorporated in your work. Perfect. So. Thanks, guys.